So let's talk about translating the good nutrition recommendations that you can find into what you're going to put on your plate. And you'll see from this graphic that we've got a continuum here from those red foods that you probably don't want to be doing on a regular basis all the way over to the green where you're not seeing double, I promise. Well, I will explain those two different dishes that look so remarkably alike in a moment. So what I'm hoping is that you'll be able to make some changes over time to improve the overall quality of your diet while you do things that apply some good basic nutrition principles like variety and adding a lot of color on your plate, taking control of the things that you include in your different recipes. So let's talk about making some choices. Pretty far down on this continuum is going to be something that too many of us see on a regular basis and that would be the hamburger and french fries that you can pick up um, fast food on the way home, families are busy, the fast food restaurants certainly make it easy and cheap for you to pick up food along the way. But this is going to be a food that is relatively high in saturated fat, high in sodium. There's not going to be much fiber in it. It's just not our best choice and I think most of us already know that. So what would be the next step? Some families say, well instead of stop it on the way home, I'll heat something up for the kids. And the example here is some chicken nuggets, some frozen chicken nuggets and some frozen french fries that were put into the oven and cooked up at home. Um, we're still pretty high over on the saturated fat and sodium side of this. There's not much in the way of a green vegetable. You can think maybe the closest thing we come to there is the plate as far as having that bright color. Um, but we have moved a little bit further towards the idea of preparing some of this food at home. Um, it's, it's already processed, so you didn't have a lot of control, but you're taking a little more control. And the next meal in the continuum uh, would be something that would be made at home. Um, in this case, we've got some homemade fried chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. And some people would call that broccoli with cheese. If you take a look at it, it really looks more like cheese with a little bit of broccoli on it. And fried chicken, you know, we're in the South. We're going to be eating our fried chicken. Um, I can remember a time when my grandmother-in-law made some really delicious homemade fried chicken and sent us on the road with it, and it was quite a treat. Um, but that's the way I think of it, as a treat, not something that I'm going to be including in my diet every day. Um, so we're, we're making progress towards help being able to to create healthier um, dishes that you can serve to the family. This next one takes it even another step. We're looking here at a baked chicken, so rather than fried, we've made it baked. We've got a baked potato on the plate and some fresh corn. So we've moved a little bit further along this continuum, uh, removing some of the fat, removing some of the salt, and um, getting close to vegetables. Now when we talk about vegetables, there are the vegetable, you know, there's those things that we just know uh, from walking through the grocery store are vegetables. But here on this particular plate, we have two starchy vegetables. We have the potato and the corn, both of which are very starchy, not brightly colored. They're higher in calories than some of the other vegetables that we could consume, the not starchy vegetables like tomatoes and broccoli or cabbage or um, lettuce. So we've got some vegetables on the plate. That's good. We can improve the vegetable choices that we've got here. Now some of you are saying, I do not have time to come home and make a dinner like this. I, I don't have time to bake potatoes and roast chicken. And that's okay because I've got another choice for you and here we can take it to something that was almost prepared for you. We've got a rotisserie chicken that you can pick up. And this plate also has some frozen vegetables that you were able to get. In this case, we did green beans. And the extra green that you see on that plate comes from a bag of lettuce. So already processed. If you, if you walked into the grocery store, you could pick these things up, take them home, and have dinner on the table pretty quickly. And here you've included some healthier choices. 
We can take that a step further. Here we've got a, a chicken breast. This could actually still be the chicken breast off that rotisserie chicken if you wanted it to be. We've got a little bit of corn. We've got a baked potato. This baked potato is put together the way I like my baked potatoes. Please don't be freaked out, but what I like to do on my baked potatoes is some plain yogurt, not the sweetened yogurt, but plain yogurt, and some salsa, because I'm a Texas girl and that's just the way I like my baked potatoes. Um, in addition, you'll see that there's a salad here. And again, we started with that bag salad that you'd get from the, the grocery store. And we added some tomatoes, we added some cucumbers. So we're just kind of beefing up that, um, that salad. And if you take a look at this plate, you'll see that we're moving closer and closer to half that plate being our vegetables. The next plate that we have is another um, grilled fish, I'm sorry, grilled chicken or grilled fish. You can pretty much imagine that one to be either that you would like. Here, instead of the starchy vegetables, we've added some additional green vegetables. So here we've got some broccoli without being buried in cheese sauce. If you want a little cheese sauce, that's fine. Um, we've got my favorite baked potato again. And then a bigger salad, a bigger toss salad with even more additional vegetables that have been added. You can see it's getting more and more colorful as we move along. Here we've got a nice stir fry dish. Um, we put this over some brown rice. We've got some broccoli and red peppers, a little bit of chicken in there, um, but a lot of the vegetables. And that little cup on the side, that's a nice cup of fruit that you could have for dessert. So we've moved a little bit further here. We're trimming back the amount of protein, animal protein that we've put on the plate. We've added some of those nice whole grains in the form of the brown rice. We've thrown in a lot of the nice colorful vegetables. So you can see we've moved to an even better choice here. This dish is almost at the pinnacle. So we've got some salmon and vegetables that have been cooked. We've got some roasted cauliflower, another one of my favorites, and a little bit of um, eggplant, a spicy eggplant dish, which is one of my Mediterranean food favorites. And we've also got a little cup of fruit that goes with this dish as well. So you can see now, not a lot of protein. We've really piled on all those nice, colorful, fresh vegetables or stewed vegetables. We've included a lot. And you could wonder, well, why isn't this the very pinnacle? Well, if you have the opportunity in your budget and you would like, we can take this one step further and make those foods organic. Now you can see that there was a long way to go before we started thinking about whether we were going to make the foods on our plate organic or not. We can take that next step. It is another positive move to make, both for our bodies and especially for the environment. But there's a lot of change that we can make, a lot of ways that you can put a meal together before you need to think that it has to be organic in order for it to be a good choice.